very, hopefully it will be very comforting. I know it's very disturbing when you have an incident where uh, officers of the law are assaulted in this manner and people want to know that the suspect is in custody or no longer a threat to them and that is definitely the case here and we will be working through this investigation in a very slow, methodical way to make sure that it's, it's managed very properly. Can you give us a timeline of exactly how all this went down, how this played out, and all of the officers that were involved in the teamwork that was used? We really can't at this point. What I can tell you is that there was great coordination between local law enforcement, including the Sheriff's Office, the Police Department, uh, Valley Police, Airway Heights Police. I saw some of their cars here, and Washington State Patrol. And so it was a very coordinated effort uh, in response to this assault on these officers. Is and so when do you expect all of the is there a suspect in custody? The suspect has been encountered, and uh, where you have that scene locked down, he is um, he has uh, been he actually shot himself. Is he dead? Is he alive? Yes. No, he is he is deceased. He is deceased. And so, can you give us a sense of the the traffic situation for all these different scenes, and when you're expecting all of these freeways to open up, or roads to open up? Sure. What I can tell you is that we work through these these scenes as quickly as possible, but making sure that we do it in a very uh, methodical way. And so I know that it is our priority to get traffic back to its normal flow, but then again, we also want to make sure that we do a very thorough job. There's still a lot of officers on scene. Is there, in fact, or perhaps another suspect or somebody else that you're looking for? We do not believe that there are any shooters left at large. What, what's going on at Nevada and Princeton? It looks like there was some police activity related to the shooting. There was two people just came out with their hands up. Are they accomplices of Mr. Wallace? Or they? Still trying to determine that. There may be some connection with the folks on Princeton, but at this point, we don't know for certain. So what's next for you and your investigation? What's next is that we will lock these scenes down one at a time. We will process them, and then uh, we will take all that information and put it together and hopefully uh, be able to provide a very detailed, uh, I guess, uh, description of what occurred here today. Are you prepared to give the suspect information, the man who is deceased? Not at this time. And right now, uh, just so you know, the shooting protocol has been invoked and WSP, SPD, and the Sheriff's Office are all working this together. Can you tell us the officer event? Not at this time. Can you tell we us how long? We haven't had a chance to contact all family. Can you tell us how long they've been on the course or give us a little bit about A considerable them? amount of time. Talk to me a little bit about the officers if you could. Uh, not at this time. They're, I can tell you they're both quality deputies and they, uh, they do a great job. How long will you guys need to be out here continuing to command the situation? As long as it takes to do the investigation. How many scenes are there? Are there four? Uh, at least six that I know at of right six. now. Six the area scenes. over at... Can you just walk us through the, the different... We're, at right now, no, because uh, I don't know all six. I know that there are six, but I don't know exactly. Were the locations. officers shot in front of out this house on Elm? Is that where the shooting occurred? That's, that's where the, the shooting the I guess, can you describe then the initial call and how it initially came out? Not yet. And nothing more you can tell us about the situation going on in Princeton? No. Whether no. there are anyone still on scene there? Nothing. And the car that was stolen in this carjacking that started this whole thing, has that been recovered? Uh, the carjacking didn't start this. Can you give us any indication at all about what may have sparked this altercation? Not yet. So just to confirm at this time, only one suspect in this? As far as we know. How is the carjacking related to this? Uh, we're still putting that together, maybe. Are you prepared at all to connect this to any drug crime in the area? Uh, we don't know exactly what it's related to. As soon as we do, you'll know. The scene at Princeton, though, is connected to this. You can confirm that. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. What's the last time you guys have had, your agencies have had to have a response like this? To this bag? Yeah. It's been a while, but we often work side by side and we have instances where we're working together continually and it's fairly seamless. Once again, for the folks at home, if you could assure them and give them kind of a timeline about when you hope all these scenes and this investigation will move forward. Right now, as far as we know, there are no longer any threats to any of the citizens. The scenes will be released as soon as we have a thorough investigation and we hope to have that done uh, hopefully in the next few hours. Sorry, and just to confirm again the conditions of the two deputies? They're stable, uh, one's in surgery. Will, one will the other one require surgery? Uh, no, it doesn't look like he'll require surgery. Can you describe the mood with your officers and your force right now? This is a pretty chaotic scene. Just driving out here, it would seem like every Right now, they're the focused on doing their jobs and protecting the citizens, so that's what they're focused on. The Thank suspect who took his life, is he familiar at all to law enforcement? Does he have any kind of We'll have to past? wait and, uh, and get all that, and as soon as we know, we'll let you know. 
Can you say if the deputies were partners or working together? They were working together. Were they they the work on cars? the same chief or on the same uh, shift. No, we, uh, we don't have two-man cars. And if I could jump in and answer uh, Megan's question, how the officers are doing, I think the sheriff uh, mentioned it very well to say that we work together. Uh, we train for these types of events. Um, obviously, the officers, uh, it's one of those things where, uh, and I, I believe I speak for the sheriff too, when we look at our officers and how they respond to this, um, we have great pride because we train, we, we practice, and, and this is the scenario that, that we're trained for to handle and to protect the public. And so I'm very proud of the officers, of all the agencies represented here, because they did a, a really amazing job in, in bringing this to a conclusion as quickly as they did. And with such a large presence on this case, uh, what's the situation to, to make sure the rest of the city and the county are being patrolled? Uh, we've taken care of uh, the valley. We have assets back into the valley. We have assets being called in to handle the uh, unincorporated area. And the city has helped us out, pick up some call load uh, while we were uh, tying uh, this up. And uh, I believe that would be the same for you, correct, Chief? That's correct. Uh, one of the things, we uh, experienced a shift change not too long ago. And so we've actually got a new shift coming on. Uh, we maintain we're holding some officers over here in overtime. That would be it. Knezovich Stevens, thank you both very thank much. Thank you for thank much you. for your time. Appreciate thank it. You.